Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how to plot a graph in MATLAB for more than one analog signal acquired from Arduino. So here uh, in the cam window you can see that I've connected a potentiometer as well as a light sensor to my Arduino Mega. Let's see how to write the script in MATLAB to acquire the two analog data and we'll plot the graph for that. First, clear all, then go to your math script, save the file as, I'm going to save it as uh, two graphs, save, I'm going to type now, press one clear all the data and a equal to Arduino and line 1 equal to line function of man then the color for the line I'm gonna give us red there is need to be a space here comma semi comma and then Here it should be comma. Okay, it's completed. And then for another, another line two equal to line of and and then semicolon comma. Then the color going to be let's write for blue. Then for the need to introduce a variable here equals zero and while one potential meter reading is going to be saved in the pot read voltage if comma potential meter is connected to the A0 pin and then light sensor is connected to the a1 and pass the program for some time okay then x1 is going to get the value of f line 1 x data then y1 equals get line 1 comma y data then yx2 equal to get line 2 comma x data then y2 equal to get line 2 comma y data so here we are missed something good Okay, this is over. We have to make a put our values in magic function. So in x1 equals x1 com space i, then y1 equal to y1 space and the pot value then y x2 equals x2 space i semicolon y2 equal to 
y2 phase light now we will set the line set line 1 comma x data comma x1 comma y data comma y1 so the same as we have said for uh, line 2 I'm going to copy this paste it here we'll change the function name as 2 then here it's 2 and y2 and then we have to increment our i so i equal to i plus 1 and then pass pass for a second in the loop that's it we have completed our function and I've connected my Arduino to my laptop so it's powered on I'm going to save it again and I'm going to run this program now So here you can see that the graph is changing for the light sensor but for the potentiometer it is in maximum position so if I change the potentiometer value I think the cam is not connected properly so I'm going to disconnect and connect it again so here now you can see that if I change the potentiometer value potentiometer value changes so here a light uh, change the value of see the LDR values goes high if I remove the light from the LDR it comes down I again so the highest reading that is reading the highest reading that I am getting in my LDR is 3.5 volts if I remove the light it comes down to the normal room light here if I close my LDR it's going down and it close to near zero if I remove my hand from the LDR it again goes to the value of 2.8 let's uh, change the potentiometer value now I'll change it you can also see that the LDR value is changing because that I'm very close to the LDR and I'm blocking the light that is falling on my LDR so that's the reason the LDR also is changing and you can also see that the potentiometer value is also changing on the graph I remove my hand from the LDR so here you can see that the LDR goes to the normal value then if I again comes to the LDR it comes down and I'm changing the potential meter value here So 
I'm gonna stop this program. Yeah. And go to here and because that I use the while loop here and this function will be continuously running on my Arjun Omega and there is no end for this function. So I'm going to press a control C so this function comes to an end and I can go on and check the graph and just stop the figure and also see here how the graphs varying from time to time and then if I want to uh, see the value of my x values the x value is going to be the same as it is going to be numbers so it's going to be a number if I want my y value that is the variable that is reassigned for the analog data here so here you can see the changes and the values that are stored you can also plot different graphs if you see if I want to go for a pie chart I can so there is I cannot use my pie chart and I'm going to do a histogram I check the figure I can see a histogram and if I want uh, area I can see the area so you can change different things by right clicking on your variable and choosing from this can go for a pie it's not working for the pie because that the data must be finite in for the pie chart plot y so this is what we are getting for the y then plot this so this is the value we got for the LDR this is the value uh, y2 we have assigned for the LDR so in the program you can see that I have assigned y2 for the LDR so that's the reason so here you can see that the light the LDR value is assigned to the y2 variable so that's it for this tutorial thank you